Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Football uh, Six Box Random Team Number Eight from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to these folks right there. One spot gets you two teams. So let's double that list up. So there should be 32. All teams are in. Right here, and there is the spreadsheet right there. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Three and a two. Five times. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, we've got Jeremy 33 down to Patrick K, who got a spot in the spot random. Three and a two. Five times for the teams. One, two, three, Four and fifth and final time. After five times, we've got the Texans down to the Titans. All right, so Jeremy 33, you have the Texans, Ron, with the Saints. Patrick K, you got the Vikings, and with that little thing next to your name, the rooftop next to your name, indicates that you got that spot in a spot random. Steelers for you. Brian Lentz, last spot mojo, gets my Raiders. Matthew with the Packers. Nick Koba with the New York Football Giants. Justin. Bills and Bengals with your spot, random spot. Conrad with the Browns. Your uh, straight up spot is Broncos, Justin. Stephen K with the Lions. Stephen D with the Bears. Justin with the Jets. Matthew with the Eagles. Jeremy 33 with the Patriots. Justin with the Redskins. Jeremy, you have the Falcons. Gabe with the Niners and the Panthers. Nick Koba is with the Dolphins. Brian, your other last spot mojo spot, Rams. Ronnie with the Seahawks. Jeremy with the Chiefs. Stephen K with the Cowboys. Stephen D with the Ravens. Ron with the Jaguars. Conrad with the Colts. Patrick K with the Cardinals. Ronnie with the Chargers. Justin with the Buccaneers. And Patrick K with the Titans. Let's alphabetize by team. And let me know if there's any trades. I'll give it a few moments for trades. And I think, I think everybody seems to be, I think that live streaming issue we had a little bit earlier with YouTube is a little bit better now. I think no one's really lagging behind now. Um, I would give it, I would give the YouTube, your YouTube page a refresh or reopen the app or something like that. Because I think we're all, we're all back on track now, it seems like. I don't know, look, look like, uh. YouTube was having some streaming issues. Everything was still streaming fine. Yeah, it seems better, right? I think everything was streaming fine. It's just that there was like a buffering issue. I think everyone was delayed. Usually the delay is only like, it's a little bit, it's kind of long. 10 seconds or so, depending on uh, on what your internet connection is. But um, but it was like double, triple that. So there was there was definitely some streaming issues, some buffering issues. But it seems to be better now. But if you still feel like you're, it's acting weird, just double check to make sure that your live dot is red. Or maybe even just refresh the page or something like that. Make sure you're streaming at 720p. Streaming at the higher quality should eliminate some uh, buffering time as well. Does not look like there's going to be any trades. So TWC, trade window closed. Let's print. Let's rip. Good luck, everybody. Now, this will take about half an hour. So this will bring us to the... To the bottom of the hour, wherever you are in the world, if you're watching live. A little bit past the bottom of the hour. Not sure what we're going to do after this. I see a few orders coming in, so let's see what. Let's think about what we can do. Maybe some Crown Royale basketball, Bowman's best baseball. Impeccable football. There's some talk about impeccable football, Dominion basketball. Those one box breaks of soccer. We got some hockey on the site too. All right. 
So there it is. On Thursday the 24th, thanks for spending a bit of your Thursday night with us. Random Team 8. There you have it. This is also a Super Bowl square break. So at the end of the break, I'll randomize everybody's name and someone is going to be... Uh, someone's going to win a spot in our Superb Owl Big Game promo. All the details are on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So check it out. You can also see uh, you can also see what we're giving away. Yeah, we have some hockey on the site. We can do that tonight if it sells out. Steve's saying you want some tennis breaks? I, I know Leaf produces some tennis. I've I've been all I've been into the Australian Open, so I'm, I'm a big tennis fan. So I'd like to we could find find some tennis for the next Grand Slam. Ooh, Stephen K wants a one of one Stafford to go with that out of three, and a few Cowboys hits. Sure, let's let's we can do that. So once again, after this break, we'll have another what three hours to go in the broadcast, three and a half hours to go in the broadcast. So check out while we're doing, if you're, especially if you're not in this break, go, go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, browse around, start picking up some spots, build some momentum on the next break, and then we'll uh, and we'll go from there. Steve Sane says. You want me to pull a nice Jordan Howard and then mistakenly ship it to you. I don't know if Steven, Steven Delcy wouldn't like that. He has the bears in this one. All right. Good luck, everybody. I got the Barry Sanders MVP insert. Todd Gurley, is he healthy or not? Who knows? Malik, Je doesn't seem like he is. Malik Jefferson to 99. Marshawn Lynch to 299. Andy Dalton to 99. There's Aaron Donald. Minka Fitzpatrick for the Dolphins. That'll be to 199. Leonard Williams for the Jets to 199. Where's the auto? There it is. It's Luke Falk. Going to Patrick K and the Titans. Patrick getting the Titans in a spot random. Michael Gallup to 299. And there's Luke again. These we will set aside right here. We'll have them sleeved and top loaded before they get shipped out to you. But just in the interest of time, I'm just going to set them aside, let our shipping team handle that. All right, box two. Good luck, everyone. Well, who does everyone have in the Super Bowl, boys and girls? It's in Atlanta, right? It's in the ATL. Chris has the Rams. Steve's like, see what he doesn't care. He's anybody but New England. Could be the Rams. Could be, could, have, could have been anybody. Jared's pulling for the Rams. 
I think it's going to be a pretty close game. All right? It's 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 a coach versus coach matchup. I feel like. Because it's not this. The storyline is not like Jared Goff versus Tom Brady, like it would have been if it was like Drew Brees and Tom Brady, right? No, this is this is the storyline is is McVay versus Belichick, you know, old school versus new school. Who outsmarts who, and who who executes the best? Who makes those mid game changes? All that. And our autograph is early in this one. Cortland Sutton, rated rookie autograph for Justin and the Denver Broncos. There you go. JT on the board, 17 out of 75 on that Cortland Sutton on card. And from downtown... Ronald Jones a second. That goes to Justin again. Justin Taylor with the Buccaneers. Ronald Jones is this is what downtown Tampa Bay looks like, everybody. Still pirates down there. There's Dylan Contrell to one ninety nine. Marquise Goodwin to 299. Vaughn Miller to 99. Yeah, I I heard about that too, Stephen K. Like some people, like season ticket holders, have lawyered up and they're trying to, you know, they're they're trying to sue the league to have them replay the game. I don't know. If, I don't know if that can ever happen. I mean, at best, I mean, the government can't force, like, the, the law can't force the league to replay a game, right? It's just, I don't know if that's really possible, if that's even in their jurisdiction. Um, I guess the best, I feel like the best they can do is they could get their money back from the game. They could file for financial damages and saying, hey, the product on the field was, was, was false or <laughs> something like that. All right, so there you go. Next box, <laughs> you did, Justin. Nice. Rex is saying, "I heard this is going to be the lowest watched Super Bowl in history, and cheapest tickets too." Yeah, I mean, yeah. People say that that Super Bowls with the Patriots in it have gradually have gradually gone. The, the numbers have been gradually lower and lower. It's it's just Patriots fatigue. They just see a lot of them on see a lot of, see them on the Super Bowl a lot. People just really don't care as much. Rams just moved a couple of years ago, so they alienated entire city in St. Louis, and they're trying to get they're trying to get um, you know reestablish their fan base in Los Angeles. So how many hardcore Rams fans are going all the way out to Atlanta to see them in the Super Bowl? I mean, it, there there are a couple big media markets, you know, Boston and, and L.A., so I'm sure the ratings will be okay. Tickets, yeah, it does, doesn't surprise me about the tickets, though. You know, a lot of Patriots fans have already gone to the Super Bowl at least once in their many years, so... Chris Cleary saying the score 28 Rams and 16 for the Pats. And what happens if it isn't that score? What's the bet? Yeah, right. Stephen saying it. Boring. People don't want to see the Patriots. I don't know. I would have too. Mini Weger would, would have loved to see Kansas City make it. That would have been the optimal Super Bowl right there.
Well, yeah, only the commissioner has the right to replay a game, right? But could 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 the courts legally make him do that, though? They can't, right? DJ Left Shark, rated rookie autograph for Ron Hollins and the Jags. There you go, Ron. Thirty-four out of ninety-nine for the Jags. All right, Ace of Cards saying if blatant miss calls, the commissioner has the right to do it, but I don't think he he never would. And I, and I'm, I I guess what I'm saying is we're t we were talking about how people in New Orleans, some people in New Orleans were filing lawsuits. There's Ryan Izzo to fifty, but. I don't know if legally the legal system can force Roger Goodell to do that. Right, because only he has the right to make the decision. He never would replay it. There's 8 out of 10 Jordan Thomas, Texans, Jeremy 33. Justin wants to see a one of one. We pulled one in the in the mixer. Maybe we'll find one in here too. It's from a different case. At two ninety nine, Julio Jones, Charles Clay for the Bills to one forty nine. From downtown, Anthony Miller. Stephen Delcy and the Chicago Bears. This is what downtown, if you've never been to Chicago, this is exactly what it looks like. There's the big reflecting bean, and there's a giant bear. There's a giant bear prowling the, uh, the skyline of Chicago. That's exactly what it looks like. And Anthony Miller just wanders around in full uniform. Jalen Samuels to 199. Out of 199, Hall of Famer Eli Manning. And Derwin James. Minnie says, forget about the Super Bowl. Talk about the Pro Bowl? What do you want to talk about with the Pro Bowl? Pro Bowl, I'm... I don't think I'm even watching the Pro Bowl. Can tell. I mean, it's a. I don't know why they continue to have it. They they must make money off of it. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it, right? Tradition, I suppose. I like the. I guess the skills competitions are kind of fun to watch. Ace of Cards saying it's the same as Manny versus Mayweather with the gambling side. Undisclosed shoulder injury ruined that fight. What's the same as the Manny Mayweather? Oh, is that on tonight's skills challenge? Guess I missed it. That's how much I care about the Pro Bowl chair. I, wa I wanted to go back to the era when there was no week break, no one week break in between the conference championships and the Super Bowl. I guess logistically it makes sense, but but I wish it was just like, bam, Super Bowl time. Christian Kirk, rated rookie autograph. Patrick Kay with the Cardinals.
trying to get money back in opening lawsuits. Yeah, no, I understand that. I understand why they're doing it. I'm just saying they don't really have, like, a case. Am I going to watch the NHL skills competition, asked Chris. If I, I guess if I stumble into it on TV, I would stop. I don't even know when the NHL All-Star game is. There's Aaron Donald, 99. Anyone getting into the first spot randomizer? Yeah, actually, yeah. If we knock out that spot randomizer, we'd, we'd be able to unlock 2017 Bowman Draft, which is already full. So we can do that. Deshaun Hamilton, rated rookie, blue to 149. Amari Cooper, Raiders edition to 299. Andrew Luck and Troy Fumagalli. Two boxes to go. Good luck, everyone. Uh, there were some shouts for uh, impeccable football tonight, too. We can knock that out tonight. That would be fun. And we have a football mixer on the site. And instead of that 2018 Donner's Optic football box, I think we're adding a Contenders football in there, which is actually double the value of Donner's Optic football. So, so now that mixer has even more value in it too. Wait, Chris, is it this weekend? The NHL Skills Conference? I'll be here on Saturday, so... Well, maybe we'll all, I'll watch that together. I would love to do some Crown Royale basketball. So, again, once again, folks, this break will be over in about 10 or 15 minutes. So, after we're done with this, I don't think anything's sold out. Actually, I see, see six orders coming in here. So, we'll go through those orders. We'll see what direction people are going in. Oh, Mark got the Bucks in the football mixer. Nice. There's Dion Kane to 149. Hey, clamped. There's Odell Beckham Jr. to 299. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Barkley cracks me up. Mitch Trubisky to 199. Marquise Goodwin to 149. And there's our autograph. It's Jalen Samuels, 34 out of 125. Rated rookie auto for the Steelers. Goes to Patrick Kay who got the Steelers in a spot random. There you go. Tanner Lee to 199. Last box coming up. Panini Crown Royale Basketball, Steve Sane reporting. Crown 4 is down to 8. Crown 5 is down to 6.
Good luck, everybody. And football mixer, since Mark got it down to 13, now it's down to 11. Remember, we replaced 2018 Donner's Optic uh, with another box of uh, Contenders Football, which is actually double the cost of Donner's Optic. So there's even, and the price of the teams obviously haven't changed. So you got, you got some good value in that mixer. Extra autos too. Um, it's 2018 contenders. So there will be, what are the, what are the boxes in that mix? What are the boxes in that mixer? Oh, there's 17 in there as well. So there's one 2017 and two 2018s. And then minus Donner's Optic Football. Tony Michelle to 99. We'll see him in action in the Super Bowl. Devontae Parker to 299 for the Dolphins. Justin Watson to 299. Josh Rosen to 199. Russell Wilson, Black Velocity to 25. Nice one for the Seahawks. There's Jordan Howard to 149. And your last auto is 16 out of 35, Neam Hines. Rated rookie autograph. And that'll be for the Colts, Conrad with the Colts. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we got another parallel before we close it out. A refractor, but nothing numbered. And there you have it. Done and done. SB53. Let's get let's fire up random.org again. Let's grab everyone's names from Patrick down to Justin on this list. New blank list. Let's randomize that list. One and a three four times. One, two, three, and one four times. Name on top after the three and a one. Good luck, everybody. Five, four, three, two, and Ronnie McIntosh. You are a superb owl. There you have it. You're in our uh, big game promo. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.